Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Afro B Live, the only place where entertainment matters. In and out of entertainment, this is what we do each and every week. I'm your host, the MC of Life. Everybody know me, GW Waliwa. Shout out to everybody out there watching us right now. Today's the day you don't want to miss. Because what? I have some special guests in the house with me today. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, let me introduce my co-partner from today. I had to fly this lady in all the way from Dubai because she was busy doing one or two things. I had to fly her in. I said, today, you must be my co-host. She's none other than the one and only, the CEO of Fab Events. Everybody know her as the DMV base, but she's global. She's doing events in Dubai, in UK, in Nigeria, anywhere where you want her. The event planner herself. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my chief planner, the one and only Mrs. Fadike Ashiru Palogo. What's up, my mom? Madam, no shelly. Not much, Oshewa. Awa, bawa, bawa, bawa. Dala wa, that dala wa. Thank you for having me today. I'm really excited to be here today. So you being in my co-partner today, you know what it means. We are both crime partners. Yes. In good way, though. We no go rob bank, we no go we go just. Even if you want to rob bank, <laughs> don't worry. You are ready to get down with me. That's right. Okay, let's take it to my left hand side, ladies and gentlemen. The baddest DJ in DMV, the one and only yes. undisputed DJ. Everybody know him each and every week. Spin it for me one time, DJ Femstar. What up, boss? What's happening? What's happening, Femstar? <laughs> Femstar, keep it spinning. Now, check this out. I brought everybody out here today for a reason. Because I got my guy, the one and only, the baddest. I can't just introduce him without talking about some of his credits. Now, let me tell you one or two things about this guy. This guy I've produced for some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry. Let me give you a small background about him. I, I did my research on this party. I did my research on this one. Check this out. He's a Nigerian producer, a musician. He was born in Benin City, Edo State. He's popularly known for some of the tags that you hear at the beginning and ending of most of his music. Yes, yes. Hey, DJ, no, no play out there, too. Check this out. He has produced, he started with a production that he did for uh, Lord of Ajasa, C-Drama. This was back in 2007. He has produced for the likes of Whiskey, Nato C, Banky W, Scales, Shank, Reminis, Goldie, God bless her soul, rest in peace, Goldie, LD, Wandeko, YQ, Everybody else, who else? Who else? Let's give it up for the one and only Mr. Sass. What up? What's up? What's up, bro? No shelling. It's a pleasure to have you in the building today. Sass, what's going on, bro? I'm chilled, man. It's actually a pleasure to have you in the studio with us today. This is Afro B Live. This is the only place that's going down in DMV. This I is how we do it, man. I see you. Uh, we are busy now. It's hard to catch up with you. Yes. If you follow this guy on Instagram, you understand what I mean. Every day in our first class, Dubai today, California tomorrow. Ah, wrong handle. Ah! Wrong handle. <laughs> What's going on, man? Yeah, what, 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 brought, what brought you to the country this time, Sask? Man, it's always work, man. But you know, work is fun for me, so I guess it's fun as well. You yeah. enjoy you enjoy doing what you're doing. Yeah, I love it. I don't see myself doing anything else. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, do you have any time to relax? What do you do to relax? I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's always necessary to sleep. You must catch up on sleep. Yeah, now, I have to hang out with friends. Uh, you know, I anything to be honest. As far as it makes me relax, then I'm good. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, let's do this. We're not gonna waste your time. We want to go straight into it. Back to back questions. I'm gonna be throwing questions at you, Chief Planner. You got my back. I got you. Chop knuckle, chop knuckle. Now check you. this out. Let me ask you this question: What made you decide to start production? Uh, I'm really tired of answering these questions. Because <laughs> 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 anyway, he keeps asking. Everybody uh, want to know. Yeah, I've always you know loved music. I used to listen to music a lot, and a friend of mine mm -hmm. produces music as well. He's not. He doesn't produce music anymore. So okay. he he kinda asked me if I think I can produce music and I was like, Okay, let me give it a try. So he gave me the software, he gave me everything I needed. Okay. And the very first beat I made okay. was so good that someone bought it off me. And I was like, hmm, okay. 
I say some. This, this, this right? Say you feel make money from this <laughs> yeah. business. Yes. This right? As a confirmed Nigerian boy, anything yeah. where you feel make money from, you go enter. Yeah. <laughs> Want to get better every day. How long has the journey been? Um, started producing professionally since I was seven, so I'll be ten years next year. Ten okay. years next year. Congratulations yeah. on that, man. Thank you. Thank the you badge you. just recently, uh, recently celebrated ten years in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, no be small things though. Ten years, oh. you just keep going back to back, hit, man. hit, everything. Yeah. You hear Most people don't know. Mm -hmm. I've been producing that long. Like when you hear Sal, you feel like I've been producing for like three years, four years, like I'm a newbie. But no, most people don't know I've been producing for that long. Yeah. But some of us are actually that are actually in this entertainment business. We've yeah. been studying, we've been following. You started with where Tribe Records. No, you oh, see. Okay, <laughs> and, and like me, people, the same way I may not know. I'm sure other people out there want to know. Yeah, and most people they know I, I produce. Um, Kondo for that green. Oh, oh. That's, that's one of oh my boy. favorite jams. Oh I boy. used to jam to that song yeah. like crazy. I did. Okay, oh, that's for real? I never knew that. Wow. I need to do more research. Did anybody else out there know? <laughs> did you know that? Saz actually produced Kondo for that green. I write P that green. Yeah. yeah. I used to work with. Thank you, Femster. Yeah. I used to work with um, Dabless. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I. Me and Reminis go way back, like his first major single I produced. That's my, that's another that's one my of guy. my favorite yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I've been doing this for a while. So you said you've been doing this for 10 years now, or it will be 10 It'll years. Be 10 years next what year. do you do to stay in shape? Because you look like you're about, what, 15? I work out. I work out. When, when do you have time to work out? <laughs> Every morning I work out. As soon as I wake up, I go to the gym. Okay. Before I start my day, I go to the gym. And you know, when I'm done, get a shower and go to work. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask you this what inspire you? What motivate to keep going? The, the fact that I don't want to fail. Okay. Yeah. Like when I see what's below, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to go back home. Yes, yes, oh boy, the future is sweet. It's yes, bright sir. for you. Okay. Now, check this out. What has been your biggest production, or what would you say has been the biggest projects that you've worked on? Um, so far, I would say the biggest song I have is. Jai Jai with whiskey. Mm. Yeah, but we have bigger stuff coming. Okay. Yeah, okay. we have songs. <clears throat> we have. Did you go? Yeah, we have songs um, with Chris Brown coming out in a bit. Ah. So that's what you were doing in LA. You know what that long said? Ah, now I see. Again. You have you have what? Some of the Chris Brown coming in a bit. That's Only on Afro beats that you hear that. That's yes, cool. So. We'll make sure make sure the world is watching. That's right. Size have a production with Chris, Chris Brown, Brown. and That's is fair. anybody else on the track? No, it's a whiskey song. Okay, a nice, song. nice, nice, so nice. So we're gonna hear some Yoruba from um, Chris Brown. This Pigeon, is actually. Pigeon. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check. If you can give any advice for the up and comers, what would you be? Man, I work hard. You need to work three times as hard hmm. as I work. So. Hmm. I don't know how you're going to do that. <laughs> like, just got to keep working. Yeah, and you know, book out first, pay your tithes. Okay. okay. It works. Okay. But, uh, if work, you can work with tight. any local artist, when I say local, I'm not saying I'm being in Africa. Yeah. If you can choose one person that you would be interested in working with. <sighs> I've pretty much worked with everyone I want to work with. So if there's anyone I want to work with now be someone new. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, how do you get new talents? Like do you go out looking or do you just let them come to you? I listen. People send me music, I listen, but Okay. Most of them are not. So I should send you my tape then. I should send you my own too so I can show What's you what I do. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 oh my I so keep Kardashian blue. Yes, so anything I want. <laughs> what about international wise if you can choose one artist? Uh, um Justin Timberlake. Oh yeah. Justin Timberlake who's I'm gone. Huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm good. You're good. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> so, the, and I really love his music. You I love Justin Timberlake. Yeah. There's something about the collaboration between him and Timberlake. Mm, okay, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. If you could also could collaborate with one producer, who would it be? 
Uh, anyone that sounds good, you know, there's there's so many uh, on like back in the day where there's just a few producers doing like really great stuff. Now now everybody's making great music. Everybody's yeah, making. It just depends on what you prefer. Oh yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have any role models out there? Um. Huh. I used to. Who inspires you? Uh, that's that's a hard question because it can be anything. Like, where do you even get your inspiration from for you to produce? Looking at you right now, it's inspiring. I'm like, oh, that's a nice watch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when I give to, they bless me. Don't be me by a bonus package. Let's continue. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So it can be anything. It can be just you know looking at the screen and seeing a will or how far it's come and how she's still make, you know making music and it inspires me and I feel like I want to be like I want to be I want to be 50 and still be popping. That's so that's it what it can be anything like I can just you know what different you could be sleeping what, and it will just come to you yeah, like I can that. just look at you talking and it will inspire me. Just I don't know how to explain like yeah. I'm inspired so, by anything. So now let me ask you this what different shapes size sound from other producers. So. Everyone knows, everyone knows. Like I put in a lot of work in my production and you know um, apart from your signature size on the beat. What no I think I think my beats have a signature and apart from yeah what you said like apart from that tag. Like mm -hmm. what you hear the production by size you mm -hmm. almost you almost ask like is that size? Mm. You get so there's there's this thing that it's just I don't know how to explain it like you know, I take bits from every genre of music, um, every element of music. I listen to anything, mm -hmm. and I just, you know, mix that up with my own influence, with my culture, with what I, what go goes on around me, and everything. So that that's what makes me me, and that's what makes my music. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. so let me get on the personal level for the ladies out there. I'm hmm. sure they want to know. Hmm. So I make our wear glasses for no, this I'm one. No, I don't want. I'm happily married, so it's not me. So I'm just asking for the ladies Chief out Rana. there. Yes. Yeah, so let's go. Let me ask: Are you available? Are you single? I'm single. Uh -uh. You are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. So if they want to reach you, how can they get in touch with you? For I'm those out there that want to know, huh? is it? Yeah. This guy says going down in, in his DM. DM. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find them. Yeah, so, is there anything in particular you like in your women? How do you want them to look? That's a good question, though. Everybody what do you gets like? this. Everybody uh, has to, what to be honest here. Yeah, she has to be pretty. Uh -huh. right, she's not fine. It's pretty in and out. Yeah, I'll get there. Come on. Uh, okay. It's not, it's not your woman. <laughs> 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 he said, like, woman. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so she has to be smart. Okay. Like, I don't want to have a conversation with a woman and she doesn't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I understand. Then she also has to be supportive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know. That's actually very important. Very important, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if you have that three, I'm sure we can work the rest. Out. Work the rest. Yeah. Sounds you be bad guy, you. <laughs> they say quiet people, they are the most dangerous. I <laughs> they suspect this guy. <laughs> they say when the ball is quiet, they are dangerous. See how the man does it. Yeah, yeah. But now this guy ain't born woman go day. <laughs> Anyways, I know what I'm talking about. Afrobeat Live has been a pleasure. We have Saz in the building, Chief Planner. You've been a wonderful co-host today. Thank you. Today. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank very you much. It's not over yet, but I tell you what, Saz, I would like for you to tell the world anything out there you want to promote, anything out there that's you know, any new project, anything you're working out there right now that you want you oh, want the oh, world to follow. There's so many things. Um, I'm going to release a body of work this year. Okay. So I'm going to release a single soon. Okay. In a couple of weeks, I'll release a single. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm also making the transition from being a producer alone to being a producer DJ. Okay. Yeah, and I also have a music academy. Okay. Oh, cool. And it's for music producers that want to get better. Okay. Because like half of my fan base, mm -hmm. uh, and they look up to me as a mentor. I'm always seeing tweets. I'm always saying stuff on Instagram like, "Oh, how did you do this? I really mm. want to be like you." Mm -hmm. So that's what inspired me to make this academy. I like that. Yeah. I like that. It's all about giving back, also. Yes, yeah. very important. And that's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So I tell you what, since you're around, you're still in the state. It'll be nice to kick it with you. You know how to do. Make I show you how they do. <laughs> I'm in DC. You so, know what it is. Real quick, for musicians that are out there and mm -hmm. they want to get in touch with you, how can they get to you? 
Um, okay, you can send an email to booksars at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And if, and if, if artists RZ. if artists want to work with you, what does it take? Uh, you know, send an email. Send an email. <laughs> yeah. Let, let me have an actual question. When when an artist show when they show interest that they want to work with you, yeah. What are the things that you consider before First things first, I like to listen to the previous work because they say you're only as good as the last thing that's out there. Mm -hmm. okay. So I listen, and if it's exciting, yeah, I would want to work with you ASAP. I'll get back to you. But if it's not really exciting and you have the money, you know, <laughs> 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 I'm sure I can work with them. No, I'm just saying. Anyway, but I really like to work with people that are really talented because it's, it's difficult to work with someone that doesn't really have talent that's doing music for. Um, that's not doing music for the obvious reasons. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, so those are the things that you consider yeah. before you even know that. Do I even want to work with this guy? Yeah. And then you can. Do you ever consider like what's the fan base of the person? Of Is the person would the person? Well, like? see, I me mean, personally, I'm all about the music. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, I don't really care about fan base. Well, my management will care about stuff like of that. Course. They will make decisions like that. Or oh, this guy has a huge fan base. You should do this. For me personally, I'm really about the music. I just want to do what's best for the music. So, it's the so if, if, if the vibe is right, like if, if we're on the same page like musically, I would work with you if even though you have no one listening to your music. I'm just saying, but okay. yeah. So okay. earlier on, he asked you um, if you work with anybody and you mentioned a few people that you would like to work with. Has there mm -hmm. been anybody you've turned down and you wish you didn't? Hmm. Um... Um, yeah, a while ago, but now... Yeah, say work. the name now. Make yeah, 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 of course. Of course. <laughs> a while ago, but now we work a lot, so it doesn't... Hey, tell us now. Tell, yeah. us. tell us the was, name. It was Whiskey. Ah, okay. yeah, this, was, this was even before... He became... Yeah, this was before Hala Boy. Oh, he wow. wanted to work with me. Okay. okay. And I told him, oh, you have to pay XXX. And yeah. I was like, man, he doesn't have that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, How did the chemistry between you guys even start? When he's talented, I'm talented. We just, you know, we just know what to do. Like, I just make beats and send to him. And Who introduced you guys? How did you guys meet? I just told you. He came to you. Okay, he came yeah, to you. Okay, it. okay. You had to and, elaborate and, on you know, that. And after that, you know, he dropped his album, man, he was everywhere. And, you know, we'll see randomly in a club or somewhere, and he'll be like, oh, you still don't want to work with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess yeah. it's all about timing. Yeah, you know, so and eventually now we, you know, do you a lot guys of stuff work together. Well together. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Mr. Saz, it's been a pleasure. You it's been a pleasure having you down there. Afro B Live. Anytime you're in DC, you're in Washington DC, please feel free. No this an open door for you to yes. kick it with us, chill with us. All right, bro. Anything right. that you have out there, you would, we also have to give us give us this commitment that anytime Saz have anything you want to put out there to the world, will be a platform to get it first. Let's be one of those that are spreading your craft yeah. in yeah. this area. Yeah. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank Thanks you. Sure. Thank Chief you so Planner, much. let's wrap nice it up. It's been so a much. pleasure. Afro B Live segment with Saz, DJ Femster, Saz in the building, Chief Planner, MC Wally Wad, the one and only Afro B Live. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take it away. We we'll continue next time. We're not saying goodbye. We'll see you later. Woo! Right. 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 Right.